Creep and fatigue. Creep and fatigue are two common modes of failure that affects material structure under sustained loading or cyclic loading. Both are considered in mechanical properties of the material. Before looking into the difference, we'll try to understand what is creep and fatigue. Creep failure is the time dependent and permanent deformation of a material when the material is subjected to a constant load or stress. This deformation typically occurs at elevated temperatures, but it can occur at ambient temperature as well. Also, it is important that creep is a type of metal deformation that occurs at the stresses below the yield strength of the material. We all know that yield strength is the stress at which metal begins to plastically deform. As it is a time dependent activity, when the material or components undergo a stress for a longer period of time, it causes creep failure. Here you see an example the creep test done on a material with high temperature. The material tends to elongate and break at one point. Also, you see a pipeline where the pipe is under the stress for a long time and tend to crack. Here creep is represented in a graph with respect to strain and time. In the initial elastic region nothing is going to happen but after a certain strain it undergoes primary creep, secondary creep and tertiary creep. The time duration in the secondary creep is much higher than the primary and tertiary and at the end it completely breaks. This graph is formed while stretching a heat object with a constant force in both the direction as you see in the image. These are another examples of creep. Next, fatigue. Fatigue is defined as a process of progressive and localized plastic deformation occurring in a material when it is subjected to cyclic stresses and strains. The cyclic stresses and strains create high stresses in the concentration locations and eventually causes cracks or complete fracture of the component. In this image, you can see the gear teeth is fractured when it is undergone cyclic loading. In this image, you will be able to differentiate the beginning of the crack, the crack growing zone, and the forced fracture zone. Similarly, here also it is highlighted the origin fatigue zone and final failure. These are number of examples for the fatigue failure. You can see the cracks in bicycle frame, helical gear, spring, steering arm, pedal, axle bolt, shaft, etc. Also, it is important to consider the strength of the material when you choose a material which undergoes cyclic loading. You always have to choose a material which has higher yield strength. In this image, you can see a graph which represents cyclist failure with respect to the normal stress. Here, you will be able to find the entrance limit or fatigue limit based on the number of cycles the material undergone cyclic loading. And this fatigue limit is important to identify stress acting on your material. Once you identify the fatigue limit, you have to identify material which has higher strength than the fatigue limit. Let us see the major difference between creep and fatigue. Creep is the tendency of a material to deform when subjected to a long-term stress. Fatigue phenomena occurs when the material is subjected to a cyclic loading causing damage which may progress to failure. Creep is a permanent deformation over time. Fatigue is crack propagation over time. Creep is the permanent deformation of material under constant load and temperature. Fatigue is the progressive and localized damage caused by cyclic loading. Creep mostly affects entire body. Fatigue affects localized area of the body of the material. In the case of in the case of gear, it will affect only in the gear teeth. Creep is comparatively slow process. Fatigue depends upon number of cycles load applying on the material. So these are the major difference between the creep and fatigue. Hope this video is helpful. Thank you.